What's up guys? It is Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. I've got Miss Spidey over here. She is my grandma Stola Rosea, the star of the show. And we are doing a little video on tarantula mating today for Tarantula Tuesday. If you don't know, I put out tarantula videos every single Tuesday. So if you're into that, please subscribe. And if you are not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. So today we're going to talk about tarantula mating. Across the animal kingdom, I think that tarantula mating is probably one of the strangest and weirdest reproduction um, rituals. It doesn't really resemble anything that we would see elsewhere in the animal kingdom. And because of tarantula's unique bodies, um, it's just a very interesting experience to watch and to encounter. And even in looking at their unique bodies, you probably couldn't figure it out if you didn't do some research. So I'm going to break it down to you guys in this video, hopefully in a very understandable way. And I will also be including actual videos of tarantulas mating because I don't have any of those videos. Um, and you can totally look up those so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So the first step is pretty standard. This is, I guess, preparation for tarantula mating. So as always, animals, regardless of what they are, need to be some sort of sexual maturity before being able to mate. And this is really interesting in tarantulas because their lifespans are so different. Females can live many, many years after sexual maturity, whereas males really have a limited lifespan after they reach that mature stage. Um, after males do reach sexual maturity, they will usually have like that ultimate molt to signify that that is the last time they're going to molt and that they need to mate before the end of their life. During this ultimate molt, what will happen is in the males, they will do what is called hooking out, which means they will gain these little hooks that are part of the mating process, which we'll get to later. Um, they will develop those hooks on their legs and that is a sign that their tarantula had their ultimate molt. Male tarantulas will also have these bulbs at the end of their pedipalps, which is another sign of maturity, and also male sex organs. So once this maturity happens for the males, it probably won't be too long before they will be making a sperm web, which is another sign that they are ready to meet. So what's a sperm web? It is very different from a tarantula's regular web, or at least the function is very different. So this is the web that a male makes when he is preparing to mate. During this process, the tarantula will use this web to transfer his sperm from his web. So he's putting the sperm in the web, and then he's going to charge those bulbs at the end of his pedipalps, which will help him to deposit the sperm later on. Got a really great video of a sperm web being made, so you can see that. Links are in the description once again. So after he's ready to go and his bulbs are charged, he will be on the hunt for a female. So as with many other creatures in the animal kingdom, there is a sort of courtship phase and mating rituals that happen. There are a lot of body language signals for tarantulas. So the two popular ones are like this drumming or tapping, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. The tarantula will either drum or tap on the ground to signal their interest to a potential mate. So in a courtship situation, the male would be tapping on the female's web and this would help to see if she's interested and also to let her let his presence be known to her. And if she's into it, if she's being receptive, she might actually return that drumming to signal that it is okay to proceed. And now when we get to the actual mating of <laughs> tarantulas, this is a terrifying process. Um, it is not rare for one tarantula to be attacked during this process. It's really a careful, terrifying dance, and any tarantula owner who has actually mated their tarantulas in captivity can vouch. A lot of times they have to be watching and ready to jump in at a moment's notice if things go south, if they want to save both of their spiders. Many times, at least one of the spiders will be hurt in the process, and usually it's the male. Um, this is because usually the males are smaller than the female, um, but also because the female will be on attack. There is a likelihood for injury because tarantulas mate face to face 
and fangs are usually exposed. This is really a prime scenario for an accident to happen. So how does it work? So I'm gonna insert a picture to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about, but the tarantulas will face each other. Their front legs will be raised. And if you remember that hook that I mentioned that the male develops on his front legs, that hook that I mentioned is actually gonna come in really, really handy right now. Because in many species, the male tarantulas will use those hooks to not only hold the female tarantula up, but to also um, control her fangs. This also helps him to elevate her body enough so that he can actually deposit the sperm inside her. And so you remember that we talked about the male charging his palps or his bulbs. Now that those are loaded with sperm, they can be inserted into the female genitalia a few times, hopefully resulting in a successful insertion. And then once he's done, he has got to get out of there fast because she might want to eat him or attack him. So um, sometimes it can be really hard to get a successful egg sac just because of how touchy the mating rituals are for tarantulas um, but also uh, because accidents happen all the time and so that's how tarantula mating happens it honestly makes me happy that i'm not a tarantula and i think the brutality of the tarantula mating um, scenario is kind of what encourages me to not mate my tarantulas um, i just don't think i i have the stomach or the heart for that so anyway, but I'd love to um, love to know what you think about tarantula mating. And if you have mated tarantulas, let me know what your experiences are. It's really fascinating. And yeah, tarantula mating is really, really weird, but it's also really, really fascinating. And I totally encourage you to definitely visit those links in my description. I have some really, really amazing videos that um, have helped me learn about tarantula mating and kind of illustrate what we're talking about because sometimes it's really hard to visualize um, how the different body parts work together and, and the placement of everything but it all comes together in the end and if all goes well we have some really amazing tarantula babies thanks so much for watching guys i'm so happy that you guys wanted to educate yourselves on tarantula mating and learning all about tarantula behavior um, that is what encourages me to keep making these videos and to keep expanding my knowledge so that i can educate you Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Take care. Bye.